Hi there. Welcome to my video about how to convert between place values. This is Mrs. Benson and I'm the math coach at your school. Converting between place values is actually a skill you probably practiced in elementary school. Do you remember working with base 10 blocks and then once you had 10 um, unit cubes you trade for a tens piece or a long or if you had 10 longs and traded them for a flat or a one hundreds piece. That's all converting between place values. That was the very basic form. And today we're going to talk about the more advanced form of converting between place values. For this video, you will need something to write on and something to write with. Make sure you have those materials ready and let's get started. If you have watched my videos before, you know that I frequently give you time to work and pause the video and then check, you know, once you are finished. We're not going to do that today. Instead, I'm going to be asking that you are working right alongside me the entire time. If you have any questions during this video, please do not hesitate to email your teacher or to contact me. My email address will be shared at the end of the video. Let's start with something simple. The method I'm going to show you today will work for any set of place values. However, for the, this activity today, we are only going to work with the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. To best follow along, I recommend that you write one thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones across the top of your paper and then draw lines to create columns down your paper. Pause the video to complete this task and then we will get started. We're starting off with 110 equals blank ones. If we were to fill that in, one tens and a zero in the ones place, because then one and zero, that actually makes ten. A very common wrong answer would be that there are zero ones, because there is a zero in the ones place. But actually, there are ten ones in one ten. Since we don't have place value blocks to prove that 110 actually equals 10 ones, I'm going to use this place value chart to demonstrate. So up here we wrote 10, meaning 1 tens and 0 ones. We would know there's 0 ones because if we had 11, it'd be 1 and 1, or 17, 1 and 7. So 10 has 0 ones. So I'm going to show you how we convert. I'm going to draw three sides of a box around the zero here in the ones place because that is the place value we are trying to identify the quantity. And then I'm going to extend it all the way to the left to the other side of that number. 110 equals 10 ones because there is a 10 inside that box. I'm going to continue demonstrating uh, with larger numbers. For this example, we have 100 equals blank tens. So I'm going to write the number 100 on my place value chart. Then I see that it's asking us to convert to tens. Here are my tens. Then extend to the left. One hundred equals ten tens. Another way you could check that 
to make sure that is correct, you think that 10 times 10, 10 tenths, equals 100. Next, we are converting 1,000 to an unknown number of tens. So again, write 1,000. We're converting to tens. Here's the tens. All the way across. And 1,000 equals 100 tenths. And then just in this case, or not just in this case, but to help check, 100 times 10, 1,000. Let's bring it back a bit, but step away from the tens. We have four tens equals an unknown number of ones. So four tens. I'm trying to think, well, what are four tens? Well, I know four tens. Four tens is 40. Just like four times 10 equals 40. I'm converting to ones. There it is. Four tens equals 40 ones. Before I forget, I want to make sure that I mention uh, one of the important reasons why you should understand how to convert between place values. One of the skills that you're going to be practicing a lot is converting uh, metric measurements. That same skill is supported by the activity that we are doing today. So if in the future you are still having difficulty converting between metric, you're always welcome to come back and review this video. In the previous examples, we were converting from a larger place to a smaller place. Now we are going to do the opposite, converting from a smaller place to a larger place. So 30 ones. Now I know I can't write 30 in the ones place. But my number sense does tell me that 30 ones is 30. Then I'm converting to tens. Sorry. There. Use the wrong marker there. It's okay. Oh, I'm messing up all over the place. This is what happens when I pause my video to take a drink. Here is all we have. The tens, 30 ones, three tens. And I know this because three times 10 equals 30. Let's continue to challenge ourselves. Now we have 80 hundreds equals an unknown number of thousands. So 80 hundreds. Now this is where a common mistake happens. They think 80 hundreds and they do this. And then they fill in the rest of the zeros as placeholders. But you don't have 80 hundreds, you have 800. So what you need to do, you need to consider all of what we've been practicing so far and thinking, oh, we talked about hundreds, 80 hundreds. And then we're converting to thousands. That's right here. So 80 hundreds, because remember we had our hundreds, thousands, this was 80. Those two zeros were our placeholders. 80 hundreds equals eight thousandths. Continuing now with 600 ones is equal to an unknown number of tens. 
Well, 600 ones I know is 600. I keep wanting to use that pink marker early. So that makes 600. And looking at the tens, here we are. Draw that box. 600 ones equals 60 tens. We only have two more left, including this one. We have 30 hundreds equivalent to an unknown amount of thousands. So 30 hundreds. Okay, remember, we don't put the three here because then that'd be three zero zero would give us 300. If you're thinking 30 hundreds, this is 30 hundreds. Right here, 30 hundreds. Hundreds there. Two zeros for our placeholder. And we're looking for our thousands. That's here. No more digits to the left. So 30 hundreds is equal to three thousands. One way that you can check yourself with converting these place values is to look at the places which you are converting. And think of their overall value. Hundreds are less than thousands. So when we are converting from a smaller place to a larger place, the number goes down. So we went from 30 to 3 because we converted from a smaller place to a larger place. And here is our last one. We have 50 tens is equal to an unknown amount of ones. 50 tens, so five, oh, I made a mistake there. Got my tens there, so my zero from 50 needs to be there. Converting to ones, draw my box, go all the way to the left. So 50 tens equals 500 ones. So notice how we went from a larger place, tens, to a smaller place, ones. So when converting to a, from a larger place to a smaller place, the number actually increases. Thank you for watching this quick review video on converting your place values. Like I said at the beginning of the presentation, if you have any questions, you can reach out to your teacher or you can email me at my email address here on the screen, nbenson at nasd.k12.pa.us. As always, thanks for working with me, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.